Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video I am going to show you how to connect this audio converter to a Epson projector since most Epson projectors don't really have a audio output that you can connect your speakers to. So I'm going to explain everything from how to actually connect this to, to your projector and then how you connect this from your projector to the external audio that you will use which is either speakers or a receiver or etc whatever you use so first of all on this side in the middle here you put in your media interface which can be a Apple TV, a PlayStation, a Roku stick, or whatever you use for media, uh, which is Netflix, etc. Basically, this is where you connect the thing that you're going to uh, watch uh, your movies with your projector on. On this side, on the e HDMI in, and there's the power source there. Yeah, so you need power for this to work. Then if we turn it around here on the back side, we have four holes. To the right here, we have holes for RCA cables, where you put in your, to your old, um, sp old speakers that you may have laying around that you want to connect to this setup just directly. Or if you have receiver, you put in that in the middle that's where you put in your, I think it's optical cable. I could be wrong. It's a SP, SPDIF cable or whatever. I don't really know that, but yeah. And here to the left, we have a HDMI out. And this is where you connect your projector, your HDMI converter to your projector. You just use a HMI cable to go to put in that hole and you put the other end of the HMI cable in your projector and that's all you need to basically do for this to work. So I will go over it once again. Here you put in your media interface on this side right here which where it says uh, uh, HMI in <laughs> and you also can uh, choose what you're going to use it for Passive mode, I think it's for one speaker. Two channel mode is, is if you have like tower speaker set up, which is two speakers. Or 5.1 channel mode, where you have surround sound, basically like five uh, surround speakers and one subwoofer. And here on the left, we have the power uh, connector for this to actually work. Then if you switch it around, we have... RCA cable to the right for older speakers or, or older receivers. A SP, SPDIF cable or an optical ca sound cable. And a HDMI out that you connect your to your projector. If you thought this was helpful or interesting, I will do further more content about thick and audio and everything. And if I missed something that you need to know, you can write a comment and I will make a follow-up video or answer your comment directly in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to subscribe if you thought this was interesting and give this video a like. And yeah, see you in the next one for more tech content like this. And yeah, bye.